Meet Sung Do Hyun, a self-taught modern artist living in Winter Haven who creates artwork ranging from simple pencil drawings to full-scale oil paintings. He embarked upon his artistic journey seven or eight years ago and has been experimenting and creating new techniques ever since. Here's a look at the bold, introspective artwork of Sung Do Hyun. My name is Seung Do Hyun from South Korea. It's been 13 years living in the United States. I've been an artist, I think, um, about seven or eight years. And I've been doing oil color, oil painting, and charcoal drawing or pen illustra illustrations. I'm, I'm trying to create some uh, combination of a Western style art and Asian style watercolor so I can create something like like illustration. Everything I, I, I want I do is like illustrative, have some story or message I wanna deliver. I started as a self-taught. I bought some books and I mostly I whenever I drew I did illustration stuff like like my own diary. When when I have I have a thoughts I wanted to um, describe with my drawings and then uh, I found that there is a limit of my you know, techniques and skills so I couldn't really show what I want to you know show so I took some classes in a uh, um, uh, Tampa Museum of Art so every Sunday I drove down to Tampa Museum of Art and I drew it's it was more like it was it was not really class it was more like open studio you just chip in ten dollars per week and there is a model you can practice drawing I took another class like weekly class and then eventually I met my friend who is an uh, art graduate art school graduate I was sketching at, at the Starbucks and then he saw me and uh, he was he saw me often often I was drawing there so he talked to me and then he invited me to his studio so I learned from it while I was doing like portrait and uh, representation art, there is somehow I wanted to do something like besides you know what it look like in you know, art. So uh, these days I try to combine you know my illustration and all painting techniques I learned. While I'm doing my art, I feel really uh, peace, you know, and, and calm. Exciting thing about art is uh, you do something new on your own like when I create my own illustration it's totally based on my imagination so it really uh, gives me so much freedom and then excitement because I'm doing something new that doesn't exist to people. I try to keep it simple I try not to put so much stuff in so many meanings to it so if people see my work and my work draw their attention to itself and maybe they can understand right away what it means by looking at it. If they don't understand, it's fine, but the, uh, when I explain to them, just one simple word can make them understand, then I'm happy about it. Yeah. Interesting is uh, when we th think about like traditional Asian art or culture, it sounds very old, ancient, and then far from these days, you know, like a trend. But when I look at the uh, um, Korean art or Chinese art or Japanese art, it's very mod modern and very simple. When it comes to Asian art, we see emptiness. The empty spot of the uh, uh, work is also part of beauty. So empty, uh, the beauty of emptiness. So when you look at Asian, uh, Asian art, traditional art, there is always some empty spot. Not not everything is decorated and everything. I think uh, that affects me, so I try to keep it simple. From the beginning of my career or drawing, I always thought if I can grab them in front of my work for you know, a certain time, like minute or seconds, 
then I'm happy first because uh, I draw their attention. You know, there are so many stuff can uh, disrupt our you know, attentions. We, we pass a lot of stuff, but if they stop at my work and they look at it and they you know, take their time, then I'm happy. And secondly, if they understand what I intend, then that's the bonus and I'm happy about it. Sometimes I'm very uh, unsure about my work, but the, um, I try not to think about it. As long as uh, I tried something, I'm happy because I tried. These days I set up uh, set my own rule. If I experiment something and then it came out good, then at least make 10 different pieces similar to it. So you get more, you know, into that, you know, um, technique. Because I, I think uh, to be uh, your own art artist, you have to create your own method and you have to be uh, an expert on it instead of uh, someone else's technique. So developing your own technique or method or steps is a lot of work to do and you don't even know when you do some just one or two work. When you do a lot of reputation and a lot of projects, then later on you can see some kind of common steps. So that's what I try to do these days. I see that a lot of uh, efforts and interest in, in art, local artists in uh, Polk County like Lakeland, Winter Haven, so it's growing and then there are a lot of good artists there and then a lot of new uh, approach or trying is happening, like events and everything, so it's very impressive and I'm happy about it as an artist. Support a local artist, when you see some work, you know, just looking at them, that's really a lot of mean to, you know, that artist. You share the artists you're interested in, others, that also means a lot. And maybe that's the way you uh, support the artist and maybe support your, you know, your town because like one good artist can make your city, you know, well known to other, you know, people. You never know. If you want to, if you feel like you want to be an artist or you, you're considering it, you should do it because uh, being an artist seems a really difficult thing to do, but I think it's a, one of the easiest things. You need a paper and pencil, just do it. Again, there is no answer. Try to try to something that doesn't have answer. Then you you are the uh, you are the uh, your own answer. So nobody can say it's right or wrong. So that's the easiest thing to do if you're looking at it that way. Yeah. Maybe you could be a good artist. Maybe not, but. The fact that you try make you do something else. Mm, I try to uh, make on my own series illustration weekly, so it's more likely uh, my own diary. But it's not personal. But everybody could understand or follow. Like something you get impression or idea from our own daily life. So please follow me and um, support me. And also. Um, um, I try to do some series of portraits about hope. So when you know I can share the idea, there is always hope. You know, and also uh, I want to work for communities. Like I'm interested in like this is ocean, like pollution. So I want to make a series of uh, um, ocean illustration. So when you see some, please support me and then share about my work to other people. Yeah, they'll be awesome. To keep up with the artwork of Sung Do Hyun, follow him on Instagram by searching for The Unbound Studio or visit his website at theunboundstudio.com.